Hi everyone, welcome to Last Minute Maths. In this video, we're going to cover differentiation, um, which is the first part of calculus. And um, it's going to be from the basic proof of differentiation. It's suitable for um, the additional and further maths um, syllabus, and of course, the first elements of A-level. All right, let's um, jump straight in. Okay, what do we mean by differentiation? Differentiating a function, right, as you can see here, okay, um, gives the gradient of the function at any point. And what we find is the derivative or differential. Uh, interchangeable words, that's what it's called. Okay. The gradient itself, remember, this is the most important part of differentiation that the gradient itself is a rate of change of one variable with respect to another variable. So just a little sketch here. What that means is that if I go one unit across with x, and let's say two units up with y, that's what with respect to x means. So this is your x, and that's your y, all right? And that is obviously, let's say, steep. So you're going up two y units for every x unit, all right? The other way we could look at it, for example, for one x unit, you're going only one y unit up, all right? So it means how much does y change for a given change in x, all right? How far do you go up for every unit that you go across? That's what the with respect to um, another variable means, all right? And uh, I've just explained that, all right? Now, given a curve that we have here, all right, whatever that curve might be, and we want to find the gradient at A, all right? So let's say we want the gradient at A, okay? The point A has coordinates, a is x, and some function of x gives you y, right, the y value. Now, if we were to do it visually, for example, you might estimate that, like a tangent or something, so something like that, right, that might be your gradient. But what's a mathematical way of doing it, algebraically? What we do is pick another point along the curve, all right? So in this case, we're going to take point B, all right? B has coordinates x plus h, all right? So that one there, okay? So B, x plus a small increment, it's called, h. And then, obviously, you would put that into your f of x to find out what the y is like this, all right? And if we were to take a straight line, like that, from A to B, that would give us a gradient from A to B, all right? Now realize that that is not quite the gradient we're after, but all will be revealed in just a moment. So if you want to work out the gradient from A to B, obviously, going back to your GCSE, Right, you're going to take the y difference divided by the x difference. That gives you the gradient from A to B. Very simply, what I've written here. All right. Now, using the coordinates, so you've got the y coordinate of B, all right, there, and you've got the y coordinate of A there. All right. And then you have the uh, x coordinates of A. B and A respectively there. Now the important thing is that the X difference that we're using, we are choosing to call it H. That's the increment from X to X plus H, all right? So when we've thrashed all that out, what you end up with is this formula here, all right? So the difference in Y between the two points over the difference in x between the two points, which turns out to be just h. 
Now, let's take an example to actually explain what all that is about, the real um, application of it. So let's say um, f of x, our function, is simply x squared. So it's a quadratic curve. All right. So the gradient, using this formula, substituting into the f of x plus h and f of x, know that f of x is whatever you put in squared. All right, it's a quadratic. So the y-coordinate of b is going to be x plus h all squared. And the y-coordinate of a will be just x squared. All right, so that's the difference in the y's between them. And then divide by the increment in x, which is your h. All right, Expanding the bracket out, you're getting your standard quadratic, so x squared plus 2xh plus h squared, minus x squared. Notice how that cancels with that, all right? And when you've divided everything, so 2xh with the h underneath, and that'll cancel, and you're left with 2x plus h. And what happens? As we bring the b, the point b, closer and closer to a, so h gets smaller. Like that, all right? And as you get right next to a, for example, here, all right, you have now got a gradient that is more or less approaching the actual gradient at a. So the way we say this, as h approaches zero, in other words, you get that x difference infinitely small, all right? then this h here will approach zero, all right? And therefore, you're left with 2x is your gradient at any given point on that curve. The way you write it, um, sort of like correctly in maths, I suppose, the limit of 2x plus h, right, as h approaches 0, the value becomes 2x. Right? This is what we call dy by dx. Right? So that means the differential of the function. All right. Okay. Now, from that, we get this general formula. All right. If y equals some coefficient a times x to the power n, well, it's a simple polynomial, then the gradient function of that original curve will be given by n times the original coefficient a and x to the power n minus 1. So what we actually do is bring the power down, right? and I'll illustrate with a couple of examples down here. So look at this one here, 5x cubed, y equals 5x cubed. What we do, bring the power 3 down to the front, multiply there, and then reduce the power by 1. All right, exactly as it says in the formula above. So that ends up being the gradient function being 15x squared, 3 times 5, times x to the power 2. The power has been reduced by 1. All right. Let's take another example. <clears throat> y equals 4 root x. Now, let's write that as a power. All right. So 4 root x is the same as 4x to the power half. And by the way, one thing you really need to know for differentiation um, of any curve is a strong grasp of indices, powers, and roots. All right? Absolutely essential. Okay, so we've changed the 4 root x to 4 times x to the power half, okay? 
Again, we bring the power half to the front, so times half, and we reduce the half by one. So half minus one becomes minus half. So at the front, half times four is two, and the power of the x is half minus one becomes minus half. This format that you have here is perfectly correct. You can leave it like that, or you can put it into a slightly uh, prettier form, I suppose, which is two over root x. So a curve, which is y equals four root x, right, will have a gradient at any point along that curve given by two over root x of whatever function, uh, whatever point you have on that graph. All right. And finally, y equals 3 over x, for example. 3x to the power 1, uh, minus 1, my apologies. So always convert the power to, or the form of the curve, into something that has powers. Much easier to deal with. Again, we're taking that power to the front, times in there, and reduce it by 1. So the differential function is given by minus 3, so it's minus 1 times 3, it's minus 3, times x to the power minus 2. So that's minus 1, minus 1, so that's minus 2. And again, that can be written as minus 3 over x squared. All right. So the proof of the differentiation that you might have learned, the formula, um, which you can apply without proof, really, is in the explanation above. And the important thing is to make sure you use this formula here. That's the one that you need for uh, exam questions. Okay, that really is all there is to differentiation um, from first principles. And there really isn't much else to it, all right? Um, in subsequent videos, I will try and do short bites on um, other types of functions, not just polynomial. I'll look at uh, trigonometric and, um, let's say, logarithmic and exponential functions as well, one by one. All right. Okay, I hope that's helped a little. I've tried to keep it really short and sweet. If anybody wants more detail, please feel free to leave a comment. And um, if you find it useful, along with my other videos, then uh, do subscribe. Great. Thank you very much.